time it perfectly. You get everybody group back up right here. We need to start doing our moves. Ready to go. One off 45, drag the hand. We need to start breaking our run. That's Nick Sanchez team talking about laying off the break a little break a little bit to back up. And he's it's got a cut. He's got a nice gap here. He can pull up if he can get the right push. Drag the break a little bit, get those guys bunched up, see if they can get enough energy here to get around Kyle Bush and his pack. Right Coming to the white flag, Kyle Bush leads Ty Jeski, Corey Hunt, Taylor Gray. Well, Nick Sanchez and his group have anything for him. One last chance here. Back up to him, Ty. Back up to that 11. Not going to be able to do it, it doesn't look like. Can he dive to the bottom? There's a push. What does Ty Majeski do? He's looking. He's sniffing. Corey Heim is right there to the inside. Can he get to Kyle Bush? As Kyle Bush hangs on. Out of turn four. Checkered flag. Kyle Bush wins it for the seventh job, time at Atlanta. Well, I guess his feedback to Spire Motorsports will be thumbs up, guys. Yeah. Your pretty stuff's rolling. Program. Pretty good program you have going on here, boys. Y'all yeah. should win a lot more races this year. Good luck. Well, we set it up at the top of the show and said, who, if anybody, can beat Kyle Busch? And you talked about the teams that would be strong, and they were. Unfortunately, Christian Eckes was out. I think he was about one or two, maybe the strongest truck in the field, but he had his problems. There's a reason he races on Sundays, Jamie. That's a nudge from... Yeah, exactly. A nudge from his teammate, Raja Karuth. So many great stories, though, in the top ten. Kyle Busch gets the win, but... How about Karuth with another top ten? Yeah, Taylor Gray, top five. What about Honeycutt? Yeah. He ranked sixth place today. Yeah. Hey, guys, and I got to say, we never had a big run. The guy, these drivers did their best. There were some amazing saves today. Great racing. Well done by everyone. As Kyle Busch burns it down. His burnouts are so impressive. He's had a lot of practice. Yes, he has. And his son, Brexton, gave him a lot of practice. He's on these tires and we're burning down. Fun race. We talked about it at the beginning of the race. If you like Daytona, we're going to see a lot of action. Yeah. If you thought it was too much action, you're going to love this race. And I think this one fell right where we thought it would. Good drafting, good racing, but not a lot of carnage. A lot of damage, but things that they can control. Not a lot of trucks out of the race. There he is, Fire Motorsports. Kyle Busch Motorsports built all these trucks, sold the team, asked Kyle to come back, run five races for them, gets the flag. Are we going to see that famous bow? Let's see it, Kyle. Remember Brian Patty, the crew chief, was Kyle's crew chief last year at KBM. Hired him, called him himself and said, I want you to come join my team. So Brian Patty's still there. And Amanda, you're with the winner with the bow. And he just took the bow in front of the crowd that is on their feet here, cheers in Kyle Bush and the winningest driver in the Craftsman Truck Series now owns 65 of these. And Kyle, you do this one in a truck that you don't own. You do it at a racetrack that you weren't really excited about coming to. What was the difference maker today? Um, I mean, you're, you're relying on help, right? So you got to have guys behind you that are willing to work with you. And Majeski was that guy today for me. So, um, I mean, there at the end, we had a bunch of Spire teammates out there that were great to work with too. The 77 was good, the 7 was good, the 2 was good. I wanted to get us all on the bottom that time and we did. We drove right up to the front and then I was going to try to control both lanes. As soon as I pulled out to the top, <laughs> the bottom went away. So I was like, well, sorry. Um, but no, just uh, thanks to Chevrolet. Appreciate Spire, Group 1001, everybody that uh, has been a part of this organization from the very start to what we have today. It's a lot of fun. Um, Love Rowdy Nation, appreciate all the, the hate stuff out there. A lot of yellow out there, a lot of black, so it's good, appreciate it. Thank you, Kyle, congratulations.